In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to create a spotlight effect. So essentially, what I want to do is have Amber here and the effect that a light is shining on her when she's on stage and the shadow is being cast on a wall behind her. So within PowerPoint, let's really quickly look at the, the different elements that are here. So I, I have a few things. I have a wall, I have a baseboard, or sorry, a floor, a baseboard, and then I have a wall that's bricks, and then I have this shadow that I've put on top of it. I have amber, and then I have the amber shadow. Uh, and that's what the finished output's going to look like, but let's go ahead and get to the, the base here. So now we're going to start, I'm just going to start with the floor, the baseboard, and the wall. Um, and and amber and one of the things I really like about this lesson is it's going to pull together a, a lot of the the tips that I've given some of the other screencasts um, all into one spot where you're doing a lot of different things uh, with that said let's go ahead and get started the first thing we want to do oh you'll see I have the instructions here if you want to follow along so I want to create uh, that shadow on the wall I'm going to just draw a rectangle I'm going to format it um, I'm going to make it black. Uh, let's get rid of the line. Let's go back to the fill. Now I can adjust the transparency. You'll see the more transparent, the brighter the wall. The less transparent, the more that shadow casts on it. Let's go ahead and just put it, sure, that looks good, 50%. Let's close that. Um, now let's bring Amber in front of that, um, just because it's bothering me a little bit. So now she's in front of the shadow. Um, I need to punch out the hole where the spotlight would be shining on her. So let's go ahead and um, draw a circle. And uh, in one of the other lessons, um, I showed you how to use the shape subtract. That's 375. Let's, uh, let's make it four, just a little bit bigger. There's a nice little circle. Uh, shape subtract is new in PowerPoint 2010, but essentially I can click on this background, um, control click, and now I can subtract or punch out that area there. Pretty cool. So now I want to create the effect as if the light was shining on Amber and her shadow is being cast uh, onto there. And and it's a little tricky. I did a couple lessons before about uh, cropping to, to shape. And that actually won't work here because what you'll end up with um, is a uh, complete silhouette. So it'll be a black showing up there. Um, and let me just do that for you really quickly. So if I did a crop to shape, here's what would happen. I would end up, it would fit in there nicely. Um, but you see it would be black and it just doesn't quite look right. And there's no way for me to control the transparency here uh, because you can't do that with a picture. It's just a weird thing within PowerPoint. You actually need to do a shape, fill it with a picture, and then that gives you control over the transparency. So let's go ahead and get that out of there. What we're going to want to do is actually uh, fill that shape. So we're going to draw a circle that's 4x4. Four four. Uh, that was pretty close. Let's make it 4x4. Four four. Um, Let's format the shape, let's pull out the line, and now we're going to do a picture fill. So I've got a picture or texture fill. Uh, I had already done this before I did the screencast, so it's not really fair. What we want to do is find that exact same picture that we found uh, that we were using of Amber. Um, and here she is, happy. I picked that. And let me just close out of that so that so you can see. Or I can just move that. See, it's the exact same picture. So now what we want to do is we want to um, make that a shadow. So I go ahead and I go to the, the picture corrections. Like before, that's making her completely black, but now I have, because it's a shape that's filled with a picture, I can control the transparency. So I can jack that transparency up. Let's say I wanted to make it the exact same color as before, which is 50%, which is matching the other background. Now it's casting the same amount of shadow. If I want more, I could make it you know, slightly less here. Uh, sure, let's take it. Let's take it to 25%. Um, and if I wanted to, I could uh, I could tile it, and then I could control some of the offsets, moving things up and down, left and right, um, and making it bigger or smaller. But I actually like to not tile it. Um, it kind of distorts it a little bit. Um, and uh, you can you can play around with that if you want to. But let's just say that I wanted to go ahead and not tile it, have it a slightly distorted view, um, as if maybe there's light from a few angles. And now I can line this up with that hole. It should be a perfect match because it's the same size hole and shape. Looks like I went down a little too much. And maybe a tad there. You can play with it and get it right, but uh, it should be a perfect match. Um, and you can tweak that as you go, but uh, there you go. A quick way to create a, a spotlight effect. So basically, uh, draw your shadow, make it transparent, cut out a hole, uh, duplicate that shape in there as a fill picture, and control the transparency. Hope you find that useful.